Previously on Good and Basic, we dug a pit and tried to smelt some copper ore. However, it didn't go exactly according to plan. At the end of it all, we only had some steam and some black glass. Next up, we tried iron smelting. Using some red rock found out in the desert, we proceeded to build a kiln over at a friend's house, actually in their barn. Um, I, I have a suspicion that uh, my neighbor's mom wanted the barn gone, and that's why she allowed a 2,000 degree furnace to be built in it. But in any case, it didn't burn out. So in this case, we built a bloomery stack furnace above ground. Good morning. Alex, Sam, can you explain what we're going to do today? Okay, what kind of ore are we smelting? Iron. Iron ore. Well, at least that's what we hope it is. Our ore is sitting over here in this trough. Some memes are going to make it hard to see. But if you'll notice, this is a very red rock, which we're grinding up to this finer ore here. It looks to be volcanic. It has crystal inclusions. And since it's very red, we're hoping that it's also very iron. Over here, we have charcoal, which we've been collecting over a period of several weeks. Just setting fires. We might not have enough, but, you know, we'll find out. Here is clay that we mined from our backyard. The clay was used as mortar to put all these bricks together to make a bloomery stacked furnace. Right now we're doing a preheat. We're just burning regular wood inside. Alex is working the bag of bellows that we made out of plywood, PVC pipe, and old plastic. Kind of sweet. It has a blacksmith handle, but other than that it's all, like, recycled junk. Here are the bricks we made the forge from. Right there is a brick sticking out of the bottom. That's going to be our tap arch. We're going to remove that brick when we're getting close to the end to pour out slag. So that's basically how it is. Um, second bellows is being hooked up over there. Hey Sam, wait for the camera. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be awesome. We have a slight concern about setting the roof on fire, but uh, okay, if who cares about the roof? His mom would be happy if we burned it down. It's all going to be good. All right, Alex. How's it going? Going great. How how long have we been at it? Uh, about hour. Hour and a half. Hour and a half to an hour. Okay. Uh, we uh, kind of gave up on using the bag bellows. They kept sucking in smoke. So here we've got the two year, and Alex is directing air into it from that shop back over there. Got it coming out pretty good. We've mudded up a few gaps. Here we have some flame coming out of the smoke hole. And here we have uh move the air. That's good. Okay, air on. That's charge number 10 or 11. Careful, guys. Decided that we're gonna play a game after. There's the flag. 
it down and they have successfully made iron. Careful buddy. Breaking it down on the inside here. They're looking for the iron bloom. They found a little one already. I say that's pretty good. Are you fitting the iron? Nope, that's flag. The stickiness of it indicates that it's flag. Iron's not it's sticky. It's liquid at all, but it's not what we're looking for. Yeah, I must admit, it, when I think of Nephi, I do think of him just kind of doing it. You know? He was kind of a beast. And then you look at this and go, wow, that's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. And he made his own bellows. We used to shop back. <laughs> that bellows was hard enough. Chris, did you see this second drink? What? You have a fairy yeah. picture. How pretty. That was really pretty on No, they were, uh, they were the ones I got at oh, the reception. Oh, nice. Nice. So, Jen, what do you want to do with these cakes and there you go. I heard they only had a few different job offers. Which one did she take? The writing one. The, uh, I can't remember what the company was called. Okay. So, Are you going to knock gonna it over, the, honey? We're going to the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking it down. So, what did we learn this time? Well, the furnace kind of sort of worked. It produced slag at the end, um, so it was definitely getting to super hot temperatures. However, we did learn that the quality of your ore makes all the difference. We also learned that you can do this inside a barn, sometimes without it burning down. Given doing it once and having it work does not mean it will happen every time. So, you'll notice that this slag is very, very sticky, very slow, very thick. That is an indicator that it doesn't have very much iron in it, and much of that slag is probably from the bricks. So that was attempt number two. Um, we managed to make black glass, 
which was kind of cool and it got all stringy, but uh, no iron. So next up for number three, this time with a new and improved furnace with bricks that won't melt. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe below. And if you enjoyed the video, please like it in the corner.